Well, this is the way things were done 150 years ago. We're, we're stepping back in time. Plumas County steps back in time. Well, it's nice and big, big from the village here. Phil Gallagher, Alpine Racing started right here over 150 years ago. The first Alpine Racing in the Western Hemisphere was right here in the Los Sierras. Men and women came from tiny mining camps, like names with like Whiskey Diggins, Rabbit Creek, Onion Valley. And this is how they got around in the winter. And this is how skiing started racing in the Western Hemisphere. So here we are, we're doing it again. And we're right here where it all started. It's so cool. Racers ready? Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. My name's Jessica Nelson. I'm doping my skis. <laughs> I have secret ingredients in my dope um, that I've melted together and uh, formed into a little block so that I can wax my skis. And so all the dopes that you use um, for these races are supposed to be authentic with ingredients that would have been available then. You can't use any of the hydrocarbons that people use for um, a, you know regular ski racing now. You have to either make your own dope or use paraffin or other waxes that were available in that era. Longboard racing is not like skiing at all on uh, skis that we're used to. Um, mine are 13 foot. Yeah, and, and you have to have from 11 to, yeah, at least 9-foot skis to race in these races. Yeah, there's no edges, there's no turning, there's no snow plowing, no slowing down. It's uh, go fast and hopefully don't crash. Truly Tanner, because you got to hike up the hill with these longboards and uh, you earn your runs. <laughs> My dad took me here for the first time when I was four years old, taught me how to ski on this hill. I've been skiing here ever since. Lots of adrenaline, of course there's every year it seems like more spectators, <laughs> but um, on top of that it's just cool to recreate these uh, historical memories here. Yeah, it's fun to compete and and it's fun to race down the hill as fast as you can. <laughs> it's a good time. <laughs> Don Fregulia from uh, Gray Eagle, California. It's not straightforward. I've been I built my first pair of skis in 2001, so I've been doing this for 
however many years that is, 19 years. When we when we first started building longboards, we went to the Plumas County Museum and we pulled some out uh, that were historical, uh, right, they're artifacts. And so we kind of based how we build these skis on those skis that we had at the museum. So it's not an exact science at all. Yeah. It's, uh, it's actually a community college course. It's Wednesday nights from six to 10 and it's a nine week course. And that's usually enough time to get really pretty close to being done, yeah, through Feather River College, through the local community college in Quincy. Yeah, we start with dimensional lumber, right? Two by six, uh, vertical grain, dug fir. Uh, so it's all it's all growth timber, and uh, it's hard, really hard to come by. It's very expensive, and uh, that's you can see the vertical grains running through the wood, right? And so we use two by six, and you start you start with the dimensional lumber, and you uh, you cut your rough cut to uh, the width of your foot. And you decide how long you want your skis to be, and then after you rough cut them in a bandsaw, you run them through uh, a bunch of planing and sanding and planing and sanding until you get your ski shaped. And then the tips, uh, we bend them uh, with uh, with uh, shims. We put shims in it, and we, we put a couple of uh, thin cuts with a bandsaw and a jig, and we just we wrap it around the jig with clamps. And then the clamps hold the jig in place, and you set it up for an hour or uh, for a couple of weeks, and, and you got your tips bent. And then on the bottoms, we put um, we put pine tar. Yeah, so these uh, just saturate them in pine tar um, to finish them, and then uh, and then the apply the dope. Yeah, that, that really hardens the base, and then burn it in there. So we're gonna actually we're, we're gonna put the class on again in the this coming fall, uh, and we're gonna do it uh, in Portola, California. So we're trying to bring it to the east side uh, and get some more people coming from the east side of, uh, of the Sierras to come to our class. So uh, it's 15, uh, 15 spots. It's uh, 250 bucks, and you get the blanks and all the equipment to make it. And the instructors will walk you through the process. And walk out with a finished pair of longboards. And we think that if you were to uh, put these on the market, uh, we think they'd probably you know with the time and labor and and what it takes to put them all together probably about a thousand dollars to build you know if you were to retail these skis would probably be about a thousand dollars but it's a community class it's a community event we're trying to keep it local for the community and keep it affordable so the more people that build longboards the better and the more people that come out and race and build this uh, event the better